All right, so we are going to try something ridiculous here. Paige has requested to try one of these newfangled Dalgona coffees. So we're gonna try and make it. Um, so I've looked at a couple of recipes, see what we can do, see what we can come up with, see if it's any good. We got a whiskey boy here. And really, who knows if it's not gonna be any good. So. I think it's gonna be good. How do we start this? Uh, one tablespoon. So we're gonna do two tablespoons. I feel like that's a very largely green. What? That's, there's some large grains in there. Well, these aren't grains. So this is instant. Browns or... So this is instant coffee. So instead of being ground up coffee beans, it's actually coffee that's been brewed and then dehydrated. So this is just powdered coffee essentially. So this will dissolve instantly. So all the recipes I saw, I saw a couple, um, all use equal parts um, instant coffee, sugar, and hot water. So, and that's volumetric, not weight. So Are you we're gonna go volumetric. Volumetric. That's why we're using a tablespoon, not a scale. So that's two tablespoons of instant coffee. Now we have just some regular sugar here, not the fat, not the fastest pour in the world, but one and two. Okay. Um, and then I'll get the water. All right, let me pour just because I'm not. No, <laughs> I don't want either of us to get burned. All right, and now one. And two. And now, we whisk. When a problem comes along, we whisk. You must whip it. Whip it good. So apparently, we're supposed to whisk it for three three minutes, and it will turn into soft cheese. Okay. If there is one defining theme of every time anybody makes this, it's that it's a pain in the butt. The whisking part. Well, I mean, that's only if you whisk it by hand. Right. Some whisking, we have it to a soft a peak. Soft. I feel like you should whisk it just a bit more so it's a bit more peaky. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm done whisking because my arm is about to fall off. I'll whisk. Okay. This is just the first time we're trying this. We might try it again more. Might. Depending on if it's palatable. All right, that's are we nice. good? I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we're gonna use a... This stuff is sticky. Do you wanna just, you want to just try it on its own right now? I think... I kind of I kind of want to. I think that's going to be hardcore. I mean that in a good way. Maybe a bad way. Alright, you gonna taste a little bit over here? 
actually it's probably the best source. Hmm. Not bad, but not something that. It tastes like coffee candy. It doesn't. It really does. It doesn't taste like. Um, coffee. It tastes like coffee like, flavored stuff. It tastes like the artificial coffee filling that right. you use in coffee candy. So we'll put a nice, uh oh, all down the side. All down the side. Right. But it is a very nice peanut buttery consistency. Super viscousy. All right. So half for Paige. It looks like foundation. All right, now as you can tell, we are both garbage videographers. <laughs> That's why we put the bowl right in front of the glasses. I'm gonna go get um, here. I'll just use that spoon when you're done. To, to start. smooth all the, uh, oh. to make it okay. look pretty so we can show it off. I'll just... So, and what we have here is two. One more beautiful. Dalgona than coffees. I don't know. Either way, both a mess. Don't mind this. All right. Here. I'm gonna mix one up. It's really hard to mix up. Yep. All right. Should we drink? Uh, yes. One minute. I think it's you're just supposed to leave it floating on the top and not stir it in. Because then you get it all over your spoon. In. Some people stir it in. Okay. Either way, never had it before. Maybe we'll never have it again. We'll see. Cheers. Cheers. Well, that's the thing. So, is it good? No. No. Is it bad? No. No? Heavily like coffee. All right. Heavy coffee. I'm already on like four cups of coffee today, so to me it's just another cup of coffee. It feels fine. Is it, is it great? No. Could it be improved? Yes. Yes. You know what would improve it? Hmm. Ice cream. Yes. But. Not I'm, right now. But I we'll. Know. Maybe putting this on some vanilla ice cream would be a good decision. Instead of milk or both? Instead of milk. Using it for whipped cream or something like that. So. I wonder if this would just taste like straight up coffee. If I mix it in. I feel like it would. Alright. Are we ready? Because the overall peanut butteriness tastes just like black yeah, so coffee. It's, yeah, so it's not going to dissolve really well so it doesn't dissolve all. like at all it just comes and it like goes into chunks here we, yeah uh i can't really show you but it's like foam at the top oh do you want me to show you your show yeah <clears throat> so after some very very dicey stirring it's still it scary. really just looks like Peanut butter floating on top of milk. Yeah, it does. Honestly, that would even be better. All right, you want to give it a, another try? Yeah, let's give it another try. Oh, I've been drinking mine. I'm taking you. Oh, yeah. See what your thoughts are. Better, actually way better. All right. So it does taste like normal coffee. Sort of. But. Coming from somebody that does not drink coffee. Okay, I do. Okay. I do. All right, so we're going to sign off. That's been a mitigated success, not an unmitigated success. I would say it's actually pretty good. Okay. I feel like we could try again. And, and we'll try this more later. All right, say goodbye, Paige. Bye.